and I, I feel like too many times people are full of shit. They're like, oh, life's easy. Life's great. No, it's fucking not. They're fucking lying to whoever told you that. They're full of shit. I don't give a fuck if your name is Grant Cardone or your, or your name is fucking Andy Frisella, Jason Waller, fucking Sean. It doesn't matter what the fuck your name is. It could be John Smith, John Doe, Bob fucking Waters. It doesn't matter. What matters is everybody's going through some hard shit. It's all relative. Nobody's fucking life is perfect. If you see some fucking poser online posing some shit, oh yeah, my life is great. Look what I do and did it all the fuck time. I guarantee that motherfucker's got some shit. I post shit. I don't post all my problems. I live through my problems. I'm going to tell you, I got motherfucking problems. I got stress. I got anxiety. I got fucking uh, uh, anger. I've got fucking control issues. I've got fucking, you know, frustration, pissed off, hangry, wanting to fucking rip someone's head off. Like I go through all the emotions. Like, I ain't, I'm not fucking special. I go through them all. But I'm also grateful. I'm also appreciative. You know, I have gratitude. You know, I want to love and I want to be loved. I want to be kind and I want someone to be kind to me. I want to help people. I want to elevate people. This whole coaching thing's inspired by helping someone. Like, the moment you fucking help someone, you can't buy that. I've had the Lambos, the Aventadors, the Porsches, the Ferraris, the, you know, the multi-million dollar mansion. Like, I've had all that shit. That doesn't give you the feeling it does to help somebody, to elevate somebody, to watch them succeed. You know, doing the coaching, it's like having more kids almost, right? Like when my son throws a touchdown, it's like, yes, when my daughters used to hit the baseball, yes, when my daughter goes out and makes her first sale, yes, or goes to college, yes, or is an awesome mom and does great things for the kids, yes, like those feelings that you get, right? It's similar in coaching. You're like, oh, I helped this guy, look what he just did, oh man. Dude, I was able to help this guy break through and be better, to live a better life, to better his business for his customers, for his employees, for his family. Feels good. You know, I got to interview some cool ass dudes like Wes Watson, Eric Spofford, like, you know, recently, and they're in the coaching game and I'm picking their brain because listen, motherfucker, I ain't a know it all. I mean, I know a lot of shit about building business. I don't give a fuck if you're starting from the scratch and you're just like, I got this idea and I've got a few bucks and I'm ready to go. Been there. Or you're already into this for a year and you're making $300,000 in sales a year. Been there. Or you're in this for three or four years and you're making $5 million. Been there. Or your business is making $50 million. Been there. Or $100 million. Been there. Or $500 million. Been there. $600 million. Been there. Raising capital and bringing in private investors, minority and majority. Been there. Raising capital or doing a reverse merger and going public. Been there there trying to sell the company been there company closing exploding losing everything fucking been there like i've done it all right i'm a jack of all trades i want to share that knowledge right you probably have some great fucking knowledge that you can give someone that that you're around that is looking for advice and a lot of people are scared to ask for help like I put it out there, join my coaching, join my coaching. And I know I see people liking it and want, and I know some of this motherfuckers, you guys listening can use it and you're just 